Hey everyone, just a short video today. I wanted to let you all know about a problem I was experiencing with my Tesla Model 3 and an experience I had at the Tesla Service Center in Chicago. If you've seen my earlier videos, you know that I bought the car in November 2022 with some worn out tires and my use of the car certainly didn't help the condition of these tires as you can see here. I've had a ton of fun on these tires and it was time to replace them. So. I drove about an hour and a half away, got a used set of tires. They were Tesla factory wheels and tires mounted already with sensors on them ready to go. And as far as I knew, they were Tesla factory sensors. However, when I put those wheels on my car, the TPMS light came on and did not go off. I drove for probably three weeks, constantly resetting the sensor adjusting the tire pressures, reading online how to research it, and nothing I would do would reset the TPMS light. In fact, even the wheel uh, sensors displayed their tire pressures, and at least one of them was always saying tire pressures not updated recently, or it's been days since they updated. It was always on a lag. The other three worked okay, but the one that was a trouble uh, sensor was never able to fix itself. So... When I decided to go to the Tesla service center, they recognized pretty early on that there was a bigger problem. They kept the car for most of the day last week and were able to diagnose it needed a new TPMS module and they were spending a ton of time working on it. I say this not because I'm complaining, I am very, very thankful that the service center was able to spend all this time diagnosing my cheap little car as I'm sure they have tons of other work to do. So after that first unsuccessful day, brought it back the next week. How about we put you in a loaner car and send you back home? We'll update you and we get something to tell you about. And not a few hours later, they said, okay, we fixed the problem. Uh, come back and get your car and we'll trade you the loaner for your car. My review of the Tesla Service Center in Chicago is a full five out of five stars. Dennis, the service writer, was super helpful and communicative on what is going on with the car what changes they've tried, what process they've used to try to solve the problem. And I was really, really impressed with his level of care and, and quality of service that he offered. Also, I'm told uh, Javier was working on the car for me. And Javier, thank you if you're out there. Really appreciate the hard work you've done. I can't believe the Tesla Service Center worked this hard for this long on my one cheap little car. And now let's talk about how much all this cost. I was scared, really scared that this was gonna be something like a thousand dollar bill. I heard TPMS module, they spent almost two full days working on my car, which I thought was really kind of them. I know they're getting paid for this, but when you see how much they charged me, I can't believe how cheap it was. They charged me for, I would say a day and a half to two days worth of work and the TPMS module itself, a total of $130. Here's the bill right here, you can see. I couldn't believe it. And when Dennis called me, I said, this seems like a very fair price. I feel like you've got way more time in this car than what you're charging me for. And he said, don't worry, we're just trying to take care of you, so it's okay. So shout out and huge thank you to Tesla Service Center of Chicago on Elston. Really appreciate the work you guys put in and the loaner car and all the communication and care you put in towards my cheap car repair and I really appreciate it. So thanks a lot. If you are experiencing a similar problem to this, hopefully it's not as drastic of a problem as mine. Hopefully it's easy to solve. But if you're experiencing a very stubborn TPMS light and or one or more sensors that will just not update, perhaps this is the issue. So hopefully this is helpful from that regard as well. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to Mind of Matter YouTube channel to see more about my Tesla and other adventures.